Hello and welcome to the Tourist Guide to Treviana Island. Today, I'm going to take you through the basics of this map, give you some quick tips and tricks, and hopefully by the end of this, you'll be able to survive here. So let's get started by looking at some key locations. Let's look at Libel Stock. Basically, this place has a massive stadium. The stadium seems to attract a lot of new players in there. I really urge you to stay away. There's always a bandit in there waiting for to come in and it'll snipe you right in the face. Okay, moving on through the rest of the town, we've got a few restaurants, some other areas around the town as well that are really good for loot. And to the east, we've got this nice um, apartment complex that's got loads of apartments that you can search for basic loot. And to the north, you've got the army base that's got four enable buildings for medium level military loot. Let's move on to the Sebien town. Basically, there's a great entrance through the underground railway, the metro system. Basically, you go under here, get your way up onto the platform, make sure you search for loot here, you'll find a map or two. Uh, get yourself up the stairs, get yourself through the train station, and I really recommend here that you head from the train station to the library. Obviously, you can do it the way you want, there's a lot of buildings between there and the library. Head over to the library, and you're guaranteed to find some civilian loot here. You'll get yourself some food, you'll get yourself some maps and equipment, and normally there's either a ghillie suit or some other clothing in there. And what's rather strange about this place is the school seems to have more guns than any of the other buildings here. There's pistols, shotguns, and all sorts in there. Moving on to Mods of Stocky. Right, basically this place is a pinnacle point. It's a rather easy to control area and also there's a lot of apartment complexes that you can use. Moving on to the Martin Army Base, only down the road from the actual Martin town. Okay, we've got here three buildings that we can enter to get high-end military loot. As you can see there, there's a break in the fence at the back that you can easily sneak through. But just be aware, there's a lot of zombies on this island and they really seem to spawn at an incredible rate. Obviously keep yourself mobile, get you some vehicles. Let's talk about the loot balance. How is the loot balanced on this map? Well basically the food is a lot more available than the actual weapons. So here I've got six tins of beans to only two AKs. So that basically says to me that it's gonna be a lot harder to get good weaponry and you're gonna be looking for new mods and upgrades. Another question is, there's an island to the west of the map across a long bridge. What's actually on it? Well, there's an airbase and a racetrack. On the airbase, you can find one helicopter, but to tell the truth, don't risk going across that bridge. Most most times, you're just gonna get shot running across it. It's too long, or if even if you drive, you'll get sniped. Let's talk about some campsite areas here. We've got four areas here that are marking on the map. You can set your tents up in any of them areas, and they work really well. Obviously, if you're a bit more advanced and you've got yourself a helicopter, make sure you fly out onto the oil rigs. Because if you fly out onto the oil rigs, it's absolutely perfect. Basically, from an oil rig, you can use it as a control point. You set up, you land your helicopter there, you can set up some tents, um, you can keep the loot in the helicopter. It's a great place to log out and it's safe because not many people are going to travel this far out to sea. And there's only one real entrance point and that's from the air. Obviously you can climb ladders below, but it's a little bit time consuming and people won't drive all this way in a slow boat unless they've got a CRB or something like that. So moving on, obviously you can see this is a great area to set up a base, set up your team here. There's three oil rigs in total. Um, I had a quite, quite a funny situation of the week where there was another team on the far oil rig and we were just shooting at each other. We all had crappy weapons, so we were just dinging each other. Right, let's talk about planning. Moving through this island, since it's so big, you really need to plan. If you don't, you're just going to find yourself getting really confused. And I hope you enjoyed that. I'd really like to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.